All right, hey guys, um, this is Leontes here again with LK404. Hey, what's up guys? And we're doing some uh, videos for Codex Car Time Strategy. We're playing the starter set right now, Bashing versus Finesse. Uh, I'm on the right playing Chalk Bashar, the, the bashing hero. I am on the left uh, piloting Finesse again. So uh, we're gonna see who goes first. Panda coin. Yep, panda coin. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go first, I think. And I think I'm gonna do, I think this, this game I do a pretty standard opening. In this um, game, I do a more standard opening than I did in my last game. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the uh, second game we played here. So I believe I won the first one as bashing. So this is a pretty good opening. Tenderfoot truck. Tenderfoot truck. It's and good. A worker. Yeah, Tenderfoot is now a like one three in the squad lead position. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where the truck goes, but hey, if some random thing happens and he dies, I'll get a card. But there's like nearly, maybe mathematically, no way it's possible. I don't think so. I, yeah. Uh, what timely, uh, timely messenger with bloom with some craziness. With wither. No. Uh, and river. You need river to cast spells. Yeah. No way. I. All right, so again, um, what you're seeing here is the starter set. Um, if you go to our Kickstarter now, which is which is live, um, this is the first pledge level, and you're not gonna get these these mats. Um, these are really old mats that we had during like development, so they're actually kind of outdated too. Um, but I believe they might be a stretch goal for for core and deluxe sets. But um, yeah, what you'll get is the uh, the two neutral starting decks, which we're playing with right now, um, the Truck Bashar hero and the Bashing line and River Montoya and the Finesse line yep. of cards. So I did... Uh, Helpful turtle. Despite the fact that I paid one more for it, this is basically a mirror opening. Uh, we both have a 1-2 unit on the board. We both have our hero on the board. Mm -hmm. Well, you get to go second, so you get that extra free gold at the beginning, so turtle becomes more value. And turtle is cool. Um, Helpful turtle has an ability called healing, and that means it's healing one. So at LK404's upkeep... He's going to heal off one damage from all of his units and heroes. Yep. Every single one. Every single one. Yeah, it's it's a, it's an effect that rarely happens, but it's enough to deter a player from just putting damage on a guy, right? Like, typically when you're, when you're attacking things in this game, you're probably outright killing stuff or, like, trading with it or whatever. So healing just gives you an incentive to not just, you know, put little bits of damage on heroes and units. It's just not worth it with the, the turtle around. Paying three? What are you paying three for? I was thinking about playing a flag bearer at this Got point. So I do flag, I do flag bearer because I don't want you to play wither and bloom on my... I don't want you to play wither you're, on my truck and I don't want you to play bloom on your you're, river or your turtle. So. You're not making my mistakes of playing wither on turn two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I made my worker, made my tech one. Got um, the flag bearer, which is going to stop me from doing any sort of wither stuff on truck. Yeah, and it's in the resist slot too, so he has to pay an extra gold for it. So I made it really. I'm, I'm trying to make spells dead in his hand, um, because he has a hero on the board. So if I can't actually kill River, let's do the softest counter I can do to uh, to spells. I see some spells in his hand too, so. So maybe he workers that this turn. Oh, that that may be a misplay. I think I gained five for some reason instead of six. Oh, okay. Did you? Did you even work her last turn? You did, yeah. Yeah, no, I worked her last turn. No, oh, yeah, you did. Let's see if you grab a gold. Yeah, let's see if I fix it. Because then you get to swing at it. Maybe. Also, see if it matters. Yeah, yeah, you. No, I just, I just play okay. the turn with five gold. No, no, you did it. You, you paid one for the worker and one for the tech building. Got it, got it. Okay, cool, cool. So you're, you're, you're clean. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm fixed. I think you just, you just kind of know. Like sometimes you just get one less gold than your worker because you know you're making a worker. It's like just. You make workers every turn, guys. Don't don't not do that. Yeah. So, you, um, who who was it who was making jokes that like if you uh, if you skip a worker, like you have to like plead to the judge as to why you should skip a worker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like during a tournament, like they'll blow a whistle on you, and you know, it's it's mostly most likely a misplay. Later on in the game, you can stop making workers once you're at about ten. That's one of the interesting parts is once you get to ten workers, you can stop um, teching, and that's good because. You probably have all the things you want in your deck right now, and uh, you don't want your deck to get bloated. This, this is a deck builder. You, you want to make sure that you're drawing just efficient things. So what's really nice about the worker pile is that it lets you trash out a lot of those tech zero cards that you're not interested in, and later on in the game, all you want to draw is tech ones and twos anyway. So that's that's realistically what you're doing with the, the workers. Although I will say later in the game, 
paying one to trash a card still yeah. totally worth pay, it. Pay one to trash is like a really powerful ability that you you'd, you'd love to have that in Dominion, or so, like Puzzle Strike or yeah, something. Yeah. So so even even late game, I think you still make workers. Yeah. Okay, so this is a this is a pretty um we're we're kind of blocking up, and th this might be bad for me. Um, if I if I can not pressure finesse. And allow them the time to build their tempo and get their combos out. This could turn out real bad. I'm trying to do like a similar thing and get lots of board, but that turtle um, is kind of in the way. And now he has a lot of blocking power. He has a two, a two, two with a point of armor. The older brother in that squad lead spot. Um, so I'm, yeah. The combat math is not on my side here. And if I put any kind of damage on anybody without killing it, it's just gonna get healed by the turtle. So. And the. Uh... So we see the first tech one of the game. We see Iron Man again. Yep. Iron Man's pretty standard. Four health and an armor. So that's a lot to get through. Yeah. So what I'm using about here is that it's possible for me to clear his patrol zone and kill River maybe. But it's going to cost me a lot of my guys and it's going to make me not play a worker this turn. Which, so maybe I do it. I don't know, man. Skipping a worker. Oh, is he doing it? Uh, maybe I don't do it. Okay. I think it's not worth it. I think I just I just block. I think I just wuss out and don't don't pressure you at all. Oh yeah, the horrible trade. So Tenderfoot and Flagbearer will both trade with older brother because I need three. No, I can't oh. do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. The decisions in this game, man. Yeah, I just can't. It's just too inefficient. I gotta like I gotta do something else. I have an Iron Man now, so I'm hoping that he survives so that I can. So so that's a big thing about this game is like. Gold rolls over, damage rolls over. If you go down on cards, you're down on cards next turn. And so just anytime you do something that is a really bad trade for you, like you feel it. Yeah. But I really appreciate the, the design of this game in the sense that, you know, when you have a hand of five cards, it's not that I only have enough gold to play like one thing. Or there's like a very clear, correct play to do. It's like I can build a building, I can make an add-on, I can level my hero, I yep. can... I can literally play maybe all the cards in my hand if I spend all my gold and then have a really bad draw next turn. Yeah, if you want to make those trade-offs and you think it's worth it and you have you have an opening where you can do something really big, yeah, dump your hand. Yeah, and, and that's where like the, a lot of the comeback potential comes from. It's where a lot of uh, you know just really interesting plays come out. And sometimes it's okay to go down to zero cards if it gives you a favorable board position that you're not you're not going to lose the game from that. All right, so I'm assuming your first two techs this game as well were double Iron Man again. They were, yeah. I yeah. Believe. So, so in this game, I uh, I teched the uh, the hasty virtuoso and uh, I teched a two step, and so I think we're. Oh, let's see, did I draw them both? Are we going to see it here? Or are we just going to see the two step? I see the two step in my hand. Yeah, two step's going to happen for sure. Yeah, that's like River's like signature spell. That and Harmony. Harmony, we're not going to see. I don't think. I don't think you play it in this game. Unfortunately, Harmony's really really fun. So those cool dancer tokens. If you guys see the the Kickstarter video, yeah, stretch goals, dancer tokens. Yeah, I gotta get those. So yeah, lots of. I have a huge patrol zone, so he's trying to just math out what can I do to get past this three five Iron Man. I know that I he knows that he can. So I definitely can, but the problem <clears throat> is, is that if I spend a lot of resources to get past that two three uh, that that three four with an armor Iron Man. You have three other things on the board, so yeah. I still need to, I need to be able to get past it and still block up enough to live. Yeah, because then I can pump a bunch of gold in the truck, and then he's gonna just hit something really hard. And <laughs> am I checking my tech choices? Is that what happened? I think so. <laughs> Questioning my life decisions. Yep. Yeah, Codex is is just lots of decisions to make. You know, it's not like I have okay, I got two gold and I got a two gold guy. I'll just play that. It's like no, there's there's just so much. No, and gold even uh, again gold rolling over from turn to turn. If 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 it's not worth it to play a thing, save it. Unless you're against red, we'll see that probably later. What can happen against red <laughs> with if you float gold? <laughs> red doesn't let you. Red likes to steal from you. Timely messenger. Okay, there's a little one damage guy coming in. One damage haste. Could Let's be see. The... Is he gonna be three damage? Right, because he can two step. Um, and buff the messenger. Yeah, does he get plus two, plus two? No, probably not, because he'll he'll die into anything he attacks. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it back. No. Yeah, it's very complicated. This 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 particular board state is is tough to math out what finesse should do here. 
Because finesse got to take a lot of risks. Yeah, finesse, careful accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta take a lot of risks. Gotta yeah. do a lot of combat math. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come wreck your face, but let me uh, let me check my uh, check my gold for a moment. <laughs> yeah, let me check my invoice. Because <laughs> the the thing about the two step is that it'll do he'll, he'll swing with stuff, but then it'll be it'll have a lot of damage on it, and then if the damage persists and I can kill one of the units that he two steps. Okay, block up with tenderfoot two step. Okay, so he's blocking with two step. The older brother could attack, but he's not going to do that. So you have a 3-4 that you're blocking with. I'm just giving myself a 4-4 four four to block with. Sure. He's a 4-4 four four with a point of armor. Didn't draw my hasted unit, though. Just going straight for tech 2. So there you go. Now he's got a... He's, I like he, it. I'm hitting tech 2. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, hitting tech 2 first. Actually taking advantage of my uh, my second turn. Or by going second. Yep. And he... Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not swinging at him. I'm... I'm not like pressuring, so that's the time to to go for the the tech into tech two. So he might already have tech twos in his in his uh, his codex or in his discard pile. I don't know, but he might grab them now. Yeah. So something to note is that because the uh, the tech buildings have worker limits, uh, tech two you need eight workers to build it, and because player two starts with more workers to, at the beginning of the game than player one does, player two can always build their tech two building first if they. Uh, if they're in an okay spot to do it. Yeah. And he's like, well, if I if I swing a bunch of stuff, I'm going to lose guys. I might as well just block up. Make make Leontes do the hard math now. Yep. I already did it. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you have to... Uh, you're going to have to lose two guys to trade with that 4-4 uh, older brother. Right. So that trade looks bad for you. Yeah. But I think I have spells. So even, pl even playing two to give... A, paying two to give a guy plus two plus two, I think is worth it. Mm -hmm. Even if that's all I get out of it, is you trade two things with him. Yeah. Yeah. So I do. I think I do brick thief, flag bearer, messenger to do the five. Dude, three units. Yep. But the cool thing is, I, I do remove the two step because now the dance partner dies. Um, so turtle loses his buff. So that that was. I'm trying to get the value out of it. I paid two gold for plus two plus two, and yeah. you had to trade three guys with it. I think I think I'm happy with that trade. Right, right, right. That might have been a, a huge turning point for this game. So when a bloom tenderfoot, that's gonna make her a two three, which is, will be enough to to take out either turtle or. Uh, yep. So now she deals two damage. Turtle down. Kills the turtle. I get a gold. Yep. Iron Man takes out the Tenderfoot. Yep. So yeah. I still found a way to do it. It just yep. took me so a lot of guys. Board clear. So then I don't think you can... This this was a decision, I think. If I kill River, I, go, I don't make a worker. And not making a worker is bad because I can't make my tech two until I get that eighth worker. I have four starting and then three in the pile. So. Yeah, that... so if he does it, he... Oh, Yeah, so mid band truck comes out. I do kill a river though. But skipping a worker and uh, yep. so skipping a worker, risks. yeah, that can't go to tech two and one less one less gold every turn for the rest of the game. Pretty yeah, much. basically, yeah. You do get two levels for killing river <clears> though, so now you're one gold away from healing off all that damage. Yeah, and then he's almost maximum max band. Troc becomes really strong. He's a, a four five, and he has an ability called readiness, and that means that he can attack without still, exhausting. Yeah, without exhausting, and then he can still patrol that turn, or I can, you know, it's good. I just have more options. And his mid band ability is whenever he attacks, he deals one damage to the opponent's base. Oh, so, did I take one off my base? You did. I okay. The, cool. The cool. There, yeah. So I got some hurt stuff, and I have no patrol zone, which means that any kind of hasted insanity that uh, there it is. I see the haste in my hand right now. Oh, and I know, I know right there, I, I, teched, uh, I teched two Troc spells, and I drew them both. Nimble Fencer. Nimble Fencer kills Troc. Yep, it's a 2-3. Um, and it, it's all Virtuosos have haste. Yep, 2-3, all Virtuosos have haste. Including itself. Troc dies. I wonder if you had other Virtuosos you could have done Troc too. dies. Sadly, I don't get any levels for that. Yeah, because uh, River was down. And... Yeah, normally killing a hero is really good value because it's you're kind of getting you're sort of getting plus two gold for killing it because you get two levels for free. Correct. 
Oh, and I got another one. Trade with Iron Man. <laughs> so another fencer. Yeah. Kills the Tenderfoot, though. Because the Iron Man, you only have one damage on it. And I think... You oh, you're right. You're right. It's not enough to kill. Yeah, because even if you were to hit... Like, you can cast a Wither or a Spark or something on the Tenderfoot. It wouldn't kill it. Because it had two health left. I couldn't cast those anyway. I, you couldn't. But, I mean, dead just hero. thinking for the future, I believe. Yep. Worker, I'm going down to one card. Yeah, but you had to do that. Yeah. So, like, this is this is what we're talking about. Is He had enough gold to do what he what he needed to do. He wasn't really constrained by just not having enough. And he made a conscious decision. He saw that I, I sacrificed a worker to do what I did. So he needs to probably overextend a little bit just to keep up. And again, the uh, the brick thief in the uh, technician slot is uh, is saving us from uh, low hand sizes. Indeed, he's yep. go right, right back to the hand, and then you'll draw a card for technician. Yep. Okay, yeah. so I make my tech two come now. Come in and kill my brick thief, so I have a uh, full hand again. Okay. So I know my Iron Man's gonna die. So this might have been the this might have been a really mis big misplay. Um. I think he'll, the Iron Man will die at some point. <laughs> Iron, Iron Man survives that, though. Iron Man only takes two, only had one damage on it, still has that's one why, health left. Okay, that's why I did that then. Yeah, Iron Man still has one health left. Yeah, but I gave you so many cards there, and that might have been the the big a big problem for me here. But I got my tech two now, and I'm, I'm feeling like, all right, you know, you have no board rivers in. Chalk will, chalk will be in next turn, too, so... We're kind of back to a semi-neutral board state, but me going down on the worker that one time. Yeah, so floating three gold, going to get another nine gold on top of that, so I'm at 12. Oh boy. Combo time. So, ready's the fencer. So, all, any any virtuoso he plays from hand is going to have haste. Yeah, so if I drop a tenderfoot or a star-crossed. Yeah. I think it's tenderfoot, nimble fencer, star-crossed, starlet... And I got and a blade master are the virtuosos. And, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, and Tenderfoot just died last turn, so I'm yeah. Okay, two gold brings out Riv. River. Does that mean I have the two step? Probably. Starcrossed. Starcrossed. Haste. Yeah, three two with haste. And notably, what's cool about Starcross Starlet is that it does take a damage every upkeep, right? Only has two health, but if you can buff it with things like Bloom and Two Step and other options, um, it can maybe have three damage counters on it and have a plus three attack to it, in addition to all the buffs you're giving it. So Starcross Starlets can get huge. There it is. Two, two step. step. So two stepped, hasted yeah. guys. Plus and... two, plus two to both my units. And so both of them will survive killing the Iron Man. So kills Ocelot. Takes three, but it's okay. Oh, messenger. Timely messenger to kill the Iron Man. I like it. Yeah, because if he, if, he, if he were to run the fencer into Iron Man... I would lose both. He would lose both because he would lose the dance partner bonus. And then, uh, oh, Brick Thief for the final hit. So he just destroys yeah. the tech two building. So it deals four damage because the uh, the fencer got plus two, plus two. And then Brick Thief deals the final one damage to destroy the tech yep. two building. And I'm pretty sure I have a hand of. Uh, you have tech two tech units twos, in your yeah. hand? Notably, I still haven't played any tech two units yet. Yeah. This is all tech ones and two step. Yep. So notably here, I noticed that Starcross Starlet is going to take one damage on its upkeep, right? Um, that's enough to kill it on its own, so I don't actually have to hit it. And what's that? What's going to happen there is it's going to remove the two-step buff from the Nimble Fencer. Nimble Fencer will be one hit point away from dying at that point. So I think... So you I, only need to peg Nimble Fencer for one damage to make sure then, that they both wait. die next Yeah, time. and then just wait. Yep. And see, yeah, it'll just happen that way. So Spark... Why do I have that still? I just never had a chance to work her. <laughs> um, so spark, spark. And again, I go up by two cards. There yeah, it is. There it is. The one damage. Messenger. Yeah, so they're alive right so, now. So now Nimble Fencer has three damage, and Starcross Starlet has more than two damage. So that's enough to kill them both when they would lose the buff. Yep. So yeah, the, the spark was kind of clutch there. But, but notably... Um, that's a spell you want to get rid of a little bit in the mid-game. One damage to a patroller, not that powerful in the late. Uh, obviously, things have like 10 health and stuff. But uh, 
it's 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 really good early, and you're able to worker it once it's no longer useful. So, but that might have been one of the things I wanted to worker the time that I wanted to play a worker and did not. So, okay, so I decided uh, this might have been a bad play too. Like I need cards. Brick Thief is good, but Iron Man is fatter. Switching out for Iron Man, um, but you know that I'm all I'm gonna have next turn is uh, River unless I play another Hasted guy. Yeah, maybe we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so that's maybe that's my guess is you're uh, you're scared of seeing another Nimble Fencer come out. Yeah, because both of these guys die right now. Yeah, so Starlet takes one on the upkeep, which is enough to die. They lose the Dance Partner buff from two step. Nimble Fencer has too much damage on it now, and it'll just that's, die. That's so many cards in my discard now. Yeah, what's what's interesting about this game too is if you if you have a board. The more guys you have on the board, the less cards are in your deck and your discard pile. And so this your is draws important. are better. If you yeah, can your keep draws stuff are higher quality. You get to your tech options much faster, right? If your if your discard is like twenty cards, then you don't want to like shuffle that and then draw from that. Um, so protecting your board is, in a way, a a way to improve your draws in general. So it's important to just manage that resource as well. Like you would have loved to have, you know the two-step and two guys on the board for another cycle. That would have just helped. You'll see later on when uh, when we play some green matches how green can really exploit this by, by protecting their entire board and having really good draws. Okay. So Blooms the river. And puts river to uh, mid-band. Yep. So now she's just going to block. Yep. And hopefully that's enough that she'll survive any shenanigans. And I think you go tech three here, right? I better. I have floating five gold this time. Yeah. Let's not make that mistake again. Yep. Yeah. Tech three. There it is. So tech three in progress. So if I, if I was, uh, if, despite the fact I haven't played any tech twos yet, if for some reason I draw the blade master next turn, I can play him. Yep. And what's notable about blade master? It's um, swift strike to. All your units and heroes. So River has that plus one counter and becomes much stronger, and you can still level her up a little bit more to give her more damage. Although you definitely have the resources yeah, to kill River if you want to this turn. I do. Yeah. But you're not worried about spells now. You just want big guys. Yep. So he's shifted his focus from stuff like two step um, to now I'm just going to play big stuff. Just teching up, yeah. So yeah, kill River. Chalk levels up. He goes level six now, which is still not enough to get a level ban. So, oh no, he was at uh, he was at four before. No, that so he does pass a level ban. So he doesn't actually take the damage. Oh, no. He levels after. No, no, no. Yeah, he's at. No, he takes the damage first and then levels. That's true. Yeah, so he's at seven. Oh, he was at five. Okay, so he does. Yeah. Yeah, but then I do he, pay. The, I pay one gold to max him out now, and then it heals him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he doesn't have readiness now because I attacked while he was mid band, and that's important. I wanted to heal off the damage. So I'm still making workers because I gotta just. Yeah, you gotta actually play workers, man. Yeah, so I do the little kick down to help me remember that that's ten workers in that first row. So I have eleven workers. Yeah, so now I'm I draw two cards because I had to just run out of everything. And I think oh wow, you you went down to zero cards and I did. drew two. Yeah, I'm not looking good right now. And uh, I, I'm deciding not to tech anymore because my deck is too bloated. I just don't have anything on the board. I had to I had an extra turn of not having 10 workers because I didn't play one. Double Leaping Lizard. So they each only cost one, which leaves me with a lot of extra gold. But um, yeah, they Leaping are 3-5 three, three, anti-air. Yeah, 3-5 anti-air for one gold. And it's, it's a finesse tech too. It's just a very efficient unit. And building a tower. Yep, tower to give me even crappier value on my trades. Discarding, so you're only, you're discarding two, uh, you're discarding zero, but I'm only discarding one. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I didn't kill Brick Thief so that you didn't blow your hand size up again and draw lots of cards. Yeah, you got to get through at some point. I do. But now you have about my hand size will go up eventually. You have about eleven health in the patrol zone right now, so <laughs> no, uh, twelve. Yeah, with the yeah. armor from the squad lead. Yeah, you got to deal twelve to get through. So there's my little desperate plays here, doing one damage to Tech 3 with the Brick Thief, healing my base slightly. Oh man, we're, we're, we're going to release this video and just everybody from now on, they're all going to put Brick Thief in Technician. It's a, it's the, the best the, place to play him. This is uh, this is the new meta. Yeah. Technician so Brick Thief. So Surplus uh, is a uh, 
It's surplus a to get cards. Yeah, it's a, it's a five gold add-on. Um, at the beginning of my turn, I'll draw an extra card. So this lets you uh, violate the hand cap of five and get to six sometimes. But also right now, you can see that gold is not my is not my limiting factor in what I can do here. I'm floating three gold this turn. I just need cards to play stuff. And I also have to, to draw through this massive discard pile of stuff that he's killed. And uh, similarly, I'm floating six gold, um, and I discarded only one card as well. So Yeah. So I'm trying to kill at least one lizard. So Iron Man and Troc trade with the uh, with the lizard. Oh no, Troc only takes uh, Troc takes four. So three from the lizard and one from the tower. Mm -hmm. He has readiness, so he doesn't actually exhaust. So he can still defend. So I just need to block. I think I think I decide. Yeah, I had Brick Thief. So killing Brick Thief, I think, is not important. Like I think I'm just. <laughs> Just Killing Brick Thief here. to give me the cards. Yeah. Yeah, so I built a tower, you built a surplus, and so I'm not going to get those cards if uh, if you don't give them to me. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with cards that way. But I think you gained 11 gold, so now you're at 16, 17 gold. 17 gold and uh, and Rivers back, and I, and I just saw my hand. I have a two-step. Oh, no. So I just mentioned that I have Final Smash, um, but it's going to take... <laughs> Final Smash is Trox Ultimate. It like removes a lot of units and steals units and does really cool stuff. But it's it's hidden in that deep discard <laughs> that I'm never going to get to. That's why like I, I need to get to that. But I also need to protect a max band Trox somehow. And this is just too much. Way too much finesse pressure right now. So let's see. Yeah, so I currently have a 3-5. If he gets two steps, he'll be a 5-7. But I don't I don't think I have enough units to get through unless I... Maestro. Maestro. Two, two steps. Step. Maestro. Seven defense with an armor. Oh, man. So I might not be able to get through to Troc, but it's pretty unlikely you're going to be able to get through. Yep. Deals five. That's enough to kill the Iron Man. Yep. Yeah, I can kill it. Yeah, he's not killing Brick Thief almost intentionally. Let's see. Maybe he still does. Do I have the Timely Messenger in hand? I could kill the Brick Thief. Yeah, Brick Thief back in. Yeah, I know he's going for base still. Yeah, I'm not... Oh, I do have the Timely Messenger in hand, but I'm not using it to kill the... Uh, I'm workering... The, oh, man. No, maybe the cards are more important than the worker, because I need to I, I need to draw into my tech three to close this out. Yeah, yeah he does that. That maestro is going to be really tough though. So yeah, so draw four instead of drawing three, so I have maximum chance of drawing into my tech three unit. Yep, I draw an extra card for my surplus there, so I'm I'm looking a little better, but not still not good. He left my tech my brick thief uh, on the board, so. So I am running out of options here. My max band truck, I can't heal him anymore. He's at one hit point remaining. So anything he does is going to be inefficient. Yeah, so it's looking like you didn't draw into that final smash. Yeah. I think I haven't cycled yet. I think I, it's still in my discard pile. That's how bad my discard was and how bad my draw was because of how low I went on cards. Yeah, you went really low on cards. You skipped a worker, so... You have an extra card in there that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Yes. Yep, I am in trouble. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Yeah, you know you need the cards. Eggship. <laughs> Eggship Stomper. So Stomper deals three to a unit, I think. So you can, uh, I, I think you can kill the lizard and... Uh... Oh, is that not enough to kill the lizard? It wasn't enough to kill lizard and that was... Oh, man. Yeah, I think he has like one hit point remaining. Uh, killing that lizard would have been so good for you. Yeah, that would have deactivated two step. Deactivated two step and got rid of my anti air guy for yeah. purposes of the egg. But the idea was um, if I put enough damage on the other one, that means that if I just kill the maestro, I will kill the uh, leaping lizard. So, an egg ship is a flyer. Um, first time you've seen that, it's a uh, 3 2 flying unit. The Leaping Lizards kill it, like, for free. Oh, it's a 4-3. Oh, it's a 4-3, uh, yeah, it's big. Yeah. But the Leaping Lizards just 
kill it for free. Yeah, so if I don't... Their job. So even if I patrol with the Leaping Lizard, you can still use Eggship to kill River. Um, and, it'll just uh, die in the process. Yeah, it'll just die in the process because uh, anti-air guy will harass it. Yeah, so if a flyer can attack whatever it wants, but anti-air guys, if they're in the patrol zone, they will swing at uh, flyers that fly by and deal the damage simultaneously. Dude, 19 gold. 19 gold for finesse. And I can play Virtuosos for free because of Maestro, so... Yeah, like, or Tech Zeros for one less. Yeah, like, like, I'm going to have gold for days for... Let's see here. Oh, do I, do I misplay? Blademaster. Oh, I pay for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you paid for Blademaster and it didn't matter. And then I paid for the other Virtuoso, too. Yeah, so, so watching this video, imagine that he paid zero for those because he has the Maestro in play. Yep. But he has 19 gold, so who cares? <laughs> And then now everything has Swift Strike, so this is... Oh, this is pretty much it. This this is... Your board is gone right now. Yeah, and the Blade Master has haste because the Nimble Fencer gives it to him. Four to Ocelot. No, no damage to his guy because Swift Strike. Oh, it's a five to Ocelot because of uh, the two-step. Yeah, it's enough. Um, Eggship dies immediately. It's flying, but anti-air guy kills it. Yep, and has Swift Strike, so it doesn't take the damage back, so I don't lose my... Uh... I don't lose my uh, yep. leaping lizard for killing the egg ship. Well, yeah, but like but just the point. Yeah, so right. Just so, yeah. Um, might as well just play everything. Just go. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Grounded guide. Grounded guide gives all the virtuosos plus two plus one, and plus one to all units that aren't. So he just this is it. This is just he has the full combo now. Yeah. And this is why this brick, is why it's cool that you can run your entire hand away. Brick thief kills brick thief. Let's see. Is there is there enough to base? Yeah, Brick Thief only died. No, should he even died? Oh, he didn't die. Yeah, yeah. yeah he did. Oh, um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and River can still attack. Blade Master can still attack. Yeah, we're doing math here. <laughs> Figure out is that enough to is that enough to kill? And then River. So lethal with uh, boom, just yeah, all the damage pours in, blows up the patrol zone, and finesse just rocks out. The full combo. Haste, Virtuosos, all of them have Swift Strike. Plus two, plus one. Yeah. Yep. River with the plus one counter, two step on the <laughs> Maestro. <laughs> and he paid gold for it and didn't have to. They were Actually, most of that combo was free. So that's what happens if you don't pressure Finesse in the early game, guys. So when you when you guys check this out, um, either the print and play on uh, SterlingGames.com or you uh, back it. Um, you want to make sure that as bashing, don't let Finesse do that to you. <laughs> do what I did in the other video. Play big guys and swing hard uh, and, and make sure that they can't get set up because they, they, they definitely win the late game. All right, um, good stuff. Yeah, so GG. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to have a couple more videos probably coming up soon. And uh, you know, if you haven't checked the Kickstarter out yet, go ahead and do that. It's a Codex Card Time Strategy. This is a starter set, and we'll probably get some red versus green going on pretty soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.